Welcome back. Let's try to... All right, so now we're going to do a stipulation. Uh, Trojan Rage, who is one of my top three subscribers ever uh, in the lead, has chosen a stipulation either reanimate, or if the reanimate cards aren't there, we go Esper. So reanimate or Esper is the stipulation. But his favorite reanimation target is Shield Red, so we're going to pick that right now. Also, it's, I, I, I've been instructed to say this draft is dedicated to Amber Walkov. This is how it should have been done. Chad is just a terrible drafter. So, that uh, keep that in mind. I'm going to take Shouldered. Any, any reanimation things here? Liliana reanimates things, right? Return a non-legendary creature with converted mana cost X from your graveyard to the battlefield? Yeah. Or buy you. Down by the bayou. I don't actually know what the reanimation colors are in this cube. I don't think there's like, there's no like survival. There's no like wild mongrels. So it could actually, Esper just could be the better reanimation color. Also, Efka, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. You are awesome. 17 months in a row is actually a lot. I am actually kind of impressed by that. It could just be Languish. Yeah. It's either Languish or Liliana, I think. Esper is the reanimator colors. Okay, so it's gonna, we're going to go Esper and... Uh, and maybe Colony is the better pick. I wouldn't mind a Lily or a Languish. I'm going to go Languish. Hmm, Distended Mindbender. Distendi McBendy. Yes, that. It's either that or Batter Skull, right? Like, these packs aren't that great. No. Hmm. Hmm. What's the, uh, I don't know what the pick is here. I like Beast Skull. You like Beast Skull? Mm hmm. Do you? Yeah. Look at that weirdo thing. I think these are both weirdo things. Someone also said reflecting pool. I can definitely see that being a viable option. Careful consideration is pretty good. It lets you discard cards. Yeah, draw four, then discard three. Or if you cast during main phase, draw for discard two. Discarding cards is nice when you're playing reanimate, so I think we're just taking the careful consideration here. Nothing much else in the bag anyway. Nothing much else in your pack. I don't have any packs. So how could there be anything in it? There couldn't be. Unbelievable. Or quite believable, depending on how you how you look at it. I like a lingering souls. Oh. Aloha, brother. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Soul Time Brood. Profane Command. Return a creature with converted mana cost extra less from your graveyard to the battlefield. I don't feel like we're ever gonna get the mana required for that. Yeah, it's a little difficult. Lingering souls is probably just better because we can discard it to careful consideration. All right, now we're on Esper and Reanimate right now. Esper mate. Esper manate. We do have to uh, find some cards that reanimate things and also creatures to reanimate other than Shieldred. Right now, we're not really getting anything back with her, unfortunately. Nope. Nope. Necrotol? That's a good dude. It's pretty alright. Does that mean it's good or not? It's pretty alright. Okay, fine. I mean, it's not Kithian. It's not Linvala. It's not Talrand. I think Necrotol's probably the better pick. We're also probably going to be uh, heavy black. 
Or probably just splashing the white for like, you know, whatever. <clears throat> Drown catacomb and a concealed courtyard makeshift mannequin. That's a thing. That is a thing. God, we do we pass two dual lands for a makeshift? We have to. We, we're we're animating things. That's what you got to do, man. Stop being a little baby about it. Just take both. All three. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure they're wheel. I don't think so. Why not? Because they're lands, and lands are good. Meh. So right now my pick priorities are reanimation cards, creatures to reanimate, fixing lands. And there is nothing in here to any of those things. Correct. End of the Royal, I guess? Yeah, it's end of the Royal. That's fine. Scarab God would be sweet. I'll take a Scarab God. A Scrab God. Old Scrabby McNabby. Scrabby McNabby. Mannequin seems bad enough. I think I like land over it in Ranimator. I don't actually care. Is Ranimator, is Mannequin even in this cube? Scrubland seems great. Old Scrubby Bubby. Scrubby Bubby. Yeah, don't pick the Scab God. That's a good, that's good advice. Grixis has seemed more open than Esper, but we just got a scrub land, so I, it doesn't matter now. We're just full in on the Esper. How's that water, man? Is it, would you say it's crisp and refreshing? I would say it's crisp. Not quite refreshing. It's not, well, what do you think would, would it would need to make it refreshing? Some kind of flavor. F only flavor is refreshing to you? Maybe. I found this Cheeto on my desk. Would you like to eat it? No. <laughs> what if I give you a dollar? Still no. Two dollars. Still no. Wait, do you have a two dollar bill? I do. Oof, tempting. Yeah, this guy's fine. It's up to you, man. There's a little... Well, so, I don't know, guys. Mike's, Mike doesn't seem interested in eating this, this random Cheeto I found on the desk, so. It's not even a whole Cheeto. It's like... No, it's a little Cheeto nubbin. They saw. See, people are saying do it. You're just being of a little baby. Of course they are. <laughs> You're just being a little Cheeto-denying baby. I'll have you know I could just get a regular Cheeto right now and eat it. Where? I have Cheetos. You have Cheetos? I do. Wow. Lots of sour cream and onion. Some barbecue. Sour cream and onion Cheetos? No, no. That's crazy, I have dude. a bunch of random chips currently. Chippies? Yeah. What are we getting here? Collective Brutes? That doesn't seem great. Do we get Bruna and hope we just get the Gisela again and we can do that job? I'll just take Jace. Oh, Jace is good. I guess he does discard big fat beasts. Yeah, we're going to go with Jace. I would just go with Jace. My name is Michael. I have to say my name after everything I say. Because uh, I'm Michael. Uh, uh, that's not true. Oh, Dragon Lord's slimy. There's also that Rezeketh or whatever his name is. <laughs> Oh my god, you're ridiculous. Can't pick cards that target. Wait, what? So, she came up with a stipulation, and the stipulation is you can't pick cards that target things. Interesting. So, can't pick a Silumgar. Like, uh, can't pick this, right? Like, you can't pick cards that, that target other things, which is really hard. So, no removal. Yeah. And, no, oh my god, that's, that's It's horrible. real hard. But it's good. It's a challenge, right? It is a challenge. I'm going to take this Dragon Lord Silumgar. Is that? Do we agree this is better than Razaketh? I guess. Because you have to sacrifice other creatures to do this ability. Oh, I just true. don't think I that's. I forgot about that. Yeah. 
Bitter Blossom Necromancy. It's got to be Necromancy, right? Yeah. I would actually pick Sword of Feast and Famine over Necromancy, I think. Or over Bitter Blossom, I think. In a deck like this. But we're not doing that sip now. That's not this stipulation. That's a different stipulation. We can, we're not going to start that stipulation in the middle of this pack. Robert, have a good night, buddy. Enjo oh, we did it, boys. It's your boy. We did it, boys. Do 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 Gristle da ha 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 I don't know what Gristle Dad has to do with Mario, but What do you mean you don't know? Look, they're both plumbers, you stupid idiot. How are they both plumbers? They both work on pipes and and water with water. Why do you think that Crystal Brand does that? Because of his plumbing certification? Because that's how he makes a living? How do you know this? How don't you? Yeah, get wrecked. What a Mitch. I don't know if I did. He's so wrecked. Time work? I actually do like Time Warp a lot. I was thinking Gifted Aetherborn just to round out like the deck a little bit. But, like, Time Warp's real good, right? So it wins the game. Does it win the game? I don't know if that's true. It can. What are you taking, Time Warp? Is it just Time Warp? I like it. I'm going to take Time Warp because it seems like the funnest card here. Watery Grave. All in on Watery Grave. All in. I like Obnixilis a lot. Does he like you back? I like Seagate Oracle too. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. You always ask me this question. I don't know. What's the pick here? You pick. You tell me. Could be could be Greaves too, actually. Greaves isn't bad. Reanimated Gristlebrand, put Greaves on him. It's kind of greedy though. It's kind of greavy, is what it is. I think I like Oracle here. I like Oracle too. Reanimate. Yeah. This is going quite all right. The Bruna came back. I was actually hoping the Bruna would come back. Um, I don't know if we're gonna play it. But if we do get Gisela, we're hundred percent gonna play it. Wanna live that meld life? I always want to live that meld life. Has anyone ever melded ever? Does it's it a hard happen? meld life for me. Bone shredder deal. He doesn't have any hands. I don't even. I don't even have any hands. Uh. That's how spell guide sounds. That's a spell guide voice. Dark ritual. Meh. Yeah. It's not auger. Do we just get him with force spike? I like getting him. I bet you do. I'll just take Dave Dargman. I think Day is fine, but like I don't really like having double white here. Oh, Dismiss is great. Thass is great. I don't know what it is, though. Is it Dismiss? I think so. I like Legacy's Allure. That seems fine. It's a hard knock life for Mike. Tin Man, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for hanging out. The stipulation is that it has to be a reanimate deck, and if that doesn't work out, we can just go regular Esper, and that's fine. But I feel like it's actually working out pretty well. We got reanimate, necromancy, necrotol, not necrotol, uh, mannequin. We have careful consideration. This. Like land tax. Carol Consideration and Jace to discard our cards. 
Lingering Souls 2 discard. Something good, something good, something good, something good. Cryptic Command, Kaiga, Pack Rat. This pack's pretty good. I like Pack Rat a lot because it makes us, it lets us discard things, but. Yeah, Pack Rat's pretty tall. I think Kaiga's real strong. I think we want Pack Rat more. I like Compulsive Research here. It's a good one. I almost don't even care about the white cards, to be quite honest. Like, we can just splash Scrubland for, like, Oblivion Ring or Lingering Souls if we have to. Land tax, maybe. But I think it's just Compulsive lets us discard. I would take Misty if it got both of these, but I think I'd rather have, the uh, like, a black-blue land or a black-white land. I don't think it's a Gary. We don't actually have enough permanents. We didn't need Day because we also have Languish, so... Like, we, we're not going to have enough... I mean, if we get Gristlebrand and then we can get a Gary into the graveyard or hard cast a Gary, that's cool. But, like, that seems pretty ambitious. This guy's pretty good. This this card's pretty good. Mm-hmm. This card's pretty good. You are correct. Gristle into Gary wins the game, but I think Gristle into nothing else ever wins the game as well, so... Supper many, thank you so much. Really appreciate the sub. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. This pack is hard because I don't want to pass any of these cards. What do you think? Fact or fiction? Mask room? Sword? I like fact. I like fact too. If Silumgar was to commercial endorsements, what brand would he be fronting? That's a good question. This guy goes in the graveyard and actually doesn't die. Yep. And by that I mean shuffle in. So it's pretty hard for us to cast. And reanimating it's not that great. I guess it's still fine. You don't like 10 10 that mills them for 20 every time they attack? Yeah, it's okay. Worm actually made wheel. That's a good point. I like Tetsumok here. Kind of. Tetsumok. I feel like it's just a little mog. Yeah, that's fine. Is Tetsumok good though? It's a little slow. Can't you reanimate it during your turn and with the trigger on the stack? You can put prey counters on things? I don't know. There we go. That's the dude we want. I'm going to take the land tax and the oblivion ring out. We don't have to be white here. Lingering Souls is still fine because we can discard it. Splash it off a scrub lane if we have to. Does it have to be in hand? Oh, it says real from your hand. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. We got part. We got Frosty. I think it's just Frosty. We can replace Tetsamok with Frosty. That seems real good. Yeah, good. Frosty the Titan. Sure. Frosty the Titan. I mean, I will probably just part the water veil because I really like that card. That I don't think we need Dread Return. We have Reanimate, Necromancy, and Makeshift Mannequin already. We have three reanimation spells already. Like, we only have, like, three guys to reanimate so far. Frost Titan's just very good. Oh, this guy's good. Nothing else in the pack, really. And I don't... And this guy's good. It's all right. Oh, my God. I hate you so much. The That's only thing... Good. The only thing our friendship does for me is remind me how much I hate you. That's all it does. 
That's There's also good. 24 cards. We can get, we can cut one thing. Maybe languish. Yeah, probably languish. What does this do? Target player draws a card and loses a life. Return negative two, negative two. Return a creature from your graveyard to your hand. It's actually fine. It's a good card. You thought he was my kid? Is that serious? I can't even tell if you're joking right now. Like, I know it's a, it, like Mike being my son is a meme, but when people say it, when they think, like, in the sense of like they think it's serious, like, I, I actually don't know what to think. I'm like, what? Probably cut into the royal. Ngoro? Into the royal. Journey to Ngoro. Wow. Oh, wow. They both tabled? Jeez. This is weird. This is weird to me. Cryptic's pretty hard on mana. I actually don't like Beast Skull that much. I can I, I I'm gonna take Kaiga. Yeah, we're definitely not casting a batter skull in this deck. Journey to one goal row. Whatever, don't care about this guy. So we can cut batter skull. I guess. Look at all these white cards. Oh my god. Oh my god, more? Hey, look, your favorite. Man of War. Probably cut the Wretched Confluence. Oh yeah, I like this guy. This guy's a this guy's a boss. Journey to Angoro. You can take lightning helix. I don't care. Is that the song? Yeah, it's like a song they they had for uh for the for the Journey to Angoro release. I'm tempted to just add this guy into the deck. Burn him out. Burn him and, and burn him and earn him. Earn him and burn him. Burn him and warn him. Burn him and warn him? Mm -hmm. What are what is what does that mean? You know. Uh I don't. No. Search 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 your head. You'll know. Search your head, you'll know. Heavy is the crown. Heavy is the crown the crown is heavy now? Yeah. Heavy is the crown. Search your head, you'll know. Heavy is the crown. Like we can just be straight up black blue here, which is nice. See you later, Confluence. One more cut. Is Confluence. it Mana Wars? Confluence? Yeah, Reggie Confluence. Really? Yeah. I don't think so, man. It returns, is... it returns a card to your hand, not to your, your battle. Right, field. but it also gives three dudes negative two, negative two, or like negative four, negative four, negative six, negative six. It's a good removal spell, which we don't have a lot of. Or you can just draw three and lose three. What about Legacy War? What about one of these two? I think this is a fine sideboard guy. Sure. I think this is a fine deck. Oh, Chad, I already have videos scheduled for tomorrow. Um... I think this deck looks fine. Yeah. I like it a lot, actually. Just do 8-8. Eight, eight. Sure. So, 9-9. Nine, nine. Cool. I'm in. Give it, giving Mike his own mic has been the best movie ever made in MTG. Nice. <laughs> I could probably turn his, his gain up a little bit. I think his gain is a little lower than mine. It's, it is lower than mine, but... I feel like... Let me know if his gain is a little better now. <laughs> Also, our, we're dropping a million frames right now, so that's cool. Oh, that's not cool at all. I agree. <clears throat> I will play first. I will keep this hand all day. 
Juicy Jimbo, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. I don't know why we're dropping all these frames, but hopefully you guys can forgive us while it fixes itself because uh, that's not fun. Dropping frames. People are asking for the, the Mike B ASMR, so if you can help them out with that, that'd be cool. My name is uh, Jeff. Hey, guys. This is Jeff here. My name is Jeff. All right, I think we're good. I think we've 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 wavered the uh, we've we've uh, braved the the frame dropping storm. So we're now at a, a, a smooth sailing green with four thousand kill four thousand kilo snits per second. Everybody loves those kilo snits. You're right. They're delicious and nutritious. Just always yes, always yield. I'm never going to actually say no to put a counter on this. You going to take that guy? No. Not in a million years. Oh, uh, we don't have anything to do, so I'll just play Water Grave here. And the next thing we can fact or dismiss. Oh, God, this is like the best deck I've ever played. Wow. I know, right? It's the best deck around. And nothing's going to ever keep Look, you the down. people want cubes, man. We're in cubes. What are you talking about? No, they want ice cubes. Go people do cubes. not want ice cubes. I guarantee you. The <laughs> well, stream, what about Dale? The stream may want cubes because they're interacting with you right now. I guarantee you. The, video, the YouTube videos do not want cubes. <laughs> oh, God. The sand is so good. We can just counter your good stuff, and if you don't do any good stuff, we can factor fiction. Oh, God. It's going to be good stuff. Oh, God. Here we go. You ready? You ready? Never. <laughs> Never. Don't don't force a woman, bro. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy, huh? Hey, kids. Welcome to the circus, huh? What's the pronunciation between Mike and Mike? Literally, literally none, Beer. There is none, yeah. Literally none. Because America. Look at this four-color deck we got here. Green, blue, black, white, huh? Okay. Okay. The people are demanding the ice crushing, man. Mike's voice is so silky smooth. <laughs> this has been a weird stream. Aren't they all? I think they wanted me to crack this, but that ain't how I live. Fact our fiction. Fact our fiction. Burder, burder, burder. Oh my god, I actually forgot that Factor Fiction lets you pick the pile that you want to keep. Yeah. That's unreal to me. I think top. You want to take the top? Yeah. Why? Tell me why. Because I like Jace filtering. I mean, Man of War, like, we're not really too scared of their board right now, right? I took it. I took it, okay? You don't have to keep selling me, buddy. Why don't we have a thing for this? We will. Did you just play Kaiga here? That actually seems pretty good. What are they going to do? Steal it? Kill it? Eat it? Counter it? Put it up with a B? If they, you, if they have a counter, they're going to counter Factor Fiction. They might not. Unless they have Essence Scatter or Sensor. In which case, do it. Just do it. Do it. Do it. They didn't do it. To make it more immersive, how about a slap league where Mike gets slapped every time we lose one life? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, God. The condition of that, the condition of that was what really got me. I was like, wow, every every time we lose a life, huh? Oh, this guy's actually really annoying because they can just exile our creatures. Oh, yeah. It's really good, actually. Maybe we do take it. No, not now. Well, if they untap with it, they get to take more creatures. Hmm.
I kind of just want to take the tireless tracker, to be quite honest with you. I'm going to take tireless tracker. Should have done that before they got the clue, but we couldn't actually. They would play a land. They actually gave us... It's actually better this way because now it's plus one, plus one. So this is actually better. Have you guys ever tried role-playing each other on stream and see how long it takes for anyone to notice that Mike is sitting in the Frank chair? Um, no, that sounds... <laughs> you guys are actually ridiculous. Secret, secret. I've got a secret. What is it? I don't I don't have to tell you my... It's a secret. I'm just asking. You don't got to tell me. Oh, I see. I'm uncomfortable now. How can we... What do I have to do to get a slap league going here? Are you serious right now? This is what you're doing? So, can you guys tell me what happens if I steal their Silumgar? They no longer control it? What happens then? I don't know. Do we just take Kaigo? Uh, I think we bounce our Kaiga, steal our Silumgar. Are we bouncing it? We Mana War. Oh. Yeah, they don't have... Yeah, they're tapped out. Yeah, okay. that's pretty good. Secret, secret. I've got a secret. I'm going to steal my guys. Secret, secret. And then we take their Silumgar. If we take their Silumgar, what happens there? Well, what does Silumgar say? It says for as long as you control Silumgar, but would I get back their the tracker that I stole originally? That's a very good question. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Oh, I imagine most people would donate for a slap league. Don't have four spike. Still don't have it. Are they going to exile a swamp to make this guy bigger? That's weird that you would do that after... Because, like, if I gain control of this, making it bigger is just better for us, right? So then we keep the one that's ours. Uh, choose a Dragon Lord Silum Guard to keep. I'll choose ours. And I think we're in good shape here. Yeah, what a game of switcheroo. Yeah, if they just actually waited to crack the clue, this would be a 4-3 four, four, instead of a 5-4. Secret, secret. I've got a secret. What is it? It's Dragonlord Silumgar. Mm. Oh, Deficient Mastermind. Good to hear it. Control effects use timestamps. Oh, wow. This is an interesting inclusion here. Oh, uh, the old Sauntering Raphaelis in your three-color deck. All right, Exile the Swamp. I have no more lands. Oh, God, something big. Three, four, five, six, seven. Sorry, four-color deck. Sphinx's Revelation? Green Sun for six. Here comes Primeval Titan, because that's the only thing you ever get with a Green Sun Zenith. And in this kind of deck, this is exactly what you want to be hitting with a Primeval Titan. Or with a with a Green Suns. This, this deck is very interesting. Rampaging Balos. Did you already play a land this turn? <gasps> you totally did. I'm just going to kill it. I'm just going to murder it. Oh, God. Murder, murder. I'm going to murder. Murder. You're it's murder. Balos.
I guess we're going to Seagate Oracle here. Maybe we should have Seagated first, but I really wanted to get rid of the Bailoff. Yeah, we'll just take the Bone Shredder. They have two cards. Alright. I can deal with it. What's a slap league? Slap league is literally where uh, we just mentioned it. Actually, it was just it was just introduced in this very stream. It's where I slap Mike every time we take one point of damage. So, I mean, we can build the deck that um, never takes damage, like a bunch of walls and stuff, and then we can just try to hope that Mike doesn't <laughs> literally get bruises on his face from being slapped so much, but. Stop playing things. They brainstorm, so they lock themselves. They brain. They got the brainstorm lock going. Make Mike's shirt green screen. I do think you should wear a green shirt on the stream, and that would be hilarious. We should just get green hoodies, you and I, and we'll just put them up, and they'll just be our faces floating on the stream. I'm still wanting to do that. What if we do a slap, a slap, a Mike slap stipulation? Um, we're not doing that before we start drafting, so we can actually pick cards that help or 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 hurt this the stream. So yeah, we could first pick Bitter Blossom, and then I can just give you a little slapper every single time. Every I, I, I don't like the stream hey man, that much. Time for the upkeep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like that would give him a concussion, and it would quickly not be fun anymore. <laughs> Did Mike just eat the thing of the desk Frank found? Oh God. I think it was a Cheeto. It was a Cheeto, and it's still here. He hasn't eaten it yet. He'll get to it. Not hungry yet. I know how he works. What's going on? Four? A lot of things? I hope all your creatures died about... Oh. Oh, that's really good. That's sad. Negative six? Yep. It's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Wait, is this any graveyard? Yeah. Dragon Lord Silumgar. Ooh, this is good. This is real good. Now shoot him in the face. Shoot him in the face. Shoot, shoot him in the face. This game has been great. Great. That's how Tony the Tiger says it. I don't know if you guys knew that. Tony. Tiger. Oh, wow. Here we go. Here we go. So you steal Solomgar. It's all about Solomgar. How is this real? What in the earth, dude? What did you... Oh, you, you kept yours? Sure. So wait, if we get rid of your... No, that doesn't work. Dang it. Dang it. Okay, so you killed Belfast Strix. Sure. So now we get to flip Jace and play Shielded. And we can... That's an enchantment. Dang it. This is really hard to figure out what's going... Okay, I don't care about that. This match seems really grindy. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, that's pretty good. Whatever. If you're just going to bounce Jace, that's, or if you're going to bounce our Jace with your Jace, totally fine. That is only our graveyard, unfortunately. It is very unfortunate. Do we have any way to target this guy? No. We just have to play shouldered here. They have no cards in hand. And they can't get any cards if they brainstorm with Jace, which means Shoulder is to stay on board. You must sacrifice.
Ugin negative one to just kill Ugin might have been the line, but like they have to have an answer for a three five black flyer. And otherwise we just have a planeswalker. Like even if they bounce Dragon Lord Silumgar to get their Ugin back, we still just actually bouncing it's probably better. <laughs> Yeah, I probably would have kept... If I was them, I probably would have kept the... Um... Alright, cool. So you get to keep one card and you get the Dragonlance Solomgar again, sure. Or Ugin again. We might just lose to Ugin. Because it's a good card. It's uh, not bad. God, they just shoot Jace? Like, whatever we play, they just... Oh, it's super frustrating. God, they're just going to win with Jason Ugin. That's unbelievable. A pretty <laughs> good team. You're right. Into Green Sun. Yes. Yes. Gas. So they either kill Jace. They're going to go to nine. So we have like one more turn to resolve this and like have them. Go to the face. Okay. Like, yeah, that makes sense actually. And you bounce it's shouldered because you have to. We don't have enough for two things. I guess we could play six and two drop, but they're not going to bounce both. They're going to actually bounce Kaiga, shoot Jace with Ugin. So it doesn't really do anything. You know okay over there? Sure. Yeah. Oh, wow. They're brainstorming. Fascinating. F -f 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 Fascinating. Let's see if you've got an answer to Shieldred. You played an island. Okay. Did you not? Are you landlocked? Do you just have three lands on top? Wow. Nice. And we have Swamp Walk? Are we... Can we just kill a thing? We don't have any swamps. Uh, I'll, I'll give him a swamp. Okay. That's a good card. Can we just kill both of your things here? No? Can't you just have a swamp? I'm crying out loud. I mean, Bone Shredder killing this is... I mean, that's fine too, but like... Pretty sure we have to compulsive research here. <laughs> Let's go land. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think we just should have played the big demon and got like something that can steal the Shalomgar. For for I mean like we don't have anything left though. We only have necromancy, reanimate, and man mannequin. Oh. And yeah. necrom and reanimate is exiled. Like they hundred percent block here. That's frustrating. They're at nine. They can just go negative seven everything. Oh god. Like it's not even worth playing Jace here. No. That's really frustrating. Yeah, and even if you play Demon, they just go negative seven, kill everything. God, this game has been really frustrating. We also didn't play a land, which is weird. Why didn't we do that? Oh. Okay. Interesting. 
Hmm. I guess they're just going to Ugin us to death. Oh, we're not paying Echo on that guy. Hmm. I wish Mannequin hit any graveyard. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. Let's see if we got anything. Into the Royal? Nope. Literally nothing. Okay. We'd have three mana instead of two if we play land last turn, but even that doesn't do anything. Okay. Cool. We'll grab this. Do nothing. Concede the game. That was frustrating. Oblivion Ring seems great here. Into the Royal seems pretty versatile here. Instead of like a Necrotol, I guess? Yeah, seems fine. Batter Skull actually survives Ugin's ability, both of them. Okay, like Seagate Oracle. Not doing that much. We got careful consideration. Sure. This is an expensive hand. I'll keep it. <laughs> nope. So if we have anything to discard things, we're just going to be in real good shape. Compulsive Research would be great here. Turn 3 Compulsive, Mannequin, any one of these idiots. Jace would be okay. That's also reasonable, given that we can get these guys in the graveyard. Yeah, we added one. We have we have one white card, and we have one uh, scrub land. So I'm not going to stop playing lands to discard cards in my hand. Like I'd rather just cast things. Like they're not playing anything either. So this deck is much weird. Like this deck is so weird. It's like white based, but it's also like. Or blue, or green based rather, but it's also like blue, white, and black. Legacy Zor actually seems much better than I gave it credit for in the first game because we didn't see all these other ridiculous creatures. Any Utopia Sprawl. What is even happening? Yep. I think the game's just over. Like, we just don't have anything to do. And we're also missing... We missed, like, a land drop. So, that's cool. <sighs> sure. Always a pleasure. Also, they end up drawing both Glacial Fortress and Drowned Catacomb every game, I guess. Which is pretty good.
Rich get richer. It's ironic that we have two more cards than they do. Uh, but they have three guys on board, a prime, uh, a planeswalker, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lands, and we have four lands. So they actually have four, five, six, seven, eight more permanents than we do. The old four color of fellas deck. Hey, where's that languish when we need it? Cool. Yep, that ain't going to do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's a lot of mana. I don't feel like we're winning this game, unfortunately. Game one was great, but they have Jace the Mind Sculptor. Oh, surprise to, to, the, to the surprise of no one. They had a white mana, remo a white removal spell, and they're, they're one white mana. Wow. Okay, so we're basically dead, right? Six, seven, eight. Green sun for a two drop, sure. Whatever, it doesn't matter. All right. Well, that was unfortunate. Felt like our deck was in really good shape, but I guess not. Yeah. Yeah. It's really weird when, like, the last two decks we've drafted felt really good. And then we just lose to, like, more ridiculous stuff going on. I just don't know. It's, it's It makes me wonder if, like, I just don't have a good grasp on this cube yet, which is possible. This is, like, the fifth draft I've done, so... Uh, Snapkeep. Sneep. Severus Sneep. That's a character from Lord of the Rings. Oh, really? Great. So long, compulsive research. What?! Man, that's weird. Compulsive research is like our out to graveyard. That's interesting. That was interesting. Oh, I see. They're just gonna take the compulsive. It all makes sense now. Now they just get to take compulsive research with the uh, with the freebooter. So it all makes sense. They didn't miss. I don't know what's happening right now. Let's go with two cards. How about Demon and Gristlebrand? Seems good. We actually could have discarded one land and the next turn played Care for Consideration discarding these two, which might have been better. We're still going to draw four, discard three, so... Discard two, so... I don't understand what's going on. I don't like that they're playing black cards, because we have Necrotal and Bone Shredder in, in our deck, and 
Those are not black friendly. Can you watch where you're sitting, buddy? How about you watch where you're moving? I'll never watch where I'm moving, you stupid Mitch. Uh, I guess we're at an impasse. Yeah? What kind of impasse, you think? The kind that you can't pass. Oh, unpassable impasse. That sounds impassable. Right. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I'll discard an island. Then an island. I want six lands so I can start casting things. Necrotol, then? Not really doing anything? Necrotol's not really doing anything. You're right. You're terribly right, sir. I do like, I, yeah, I do like when we have the mono black deck and we have Necrotol and Bone Shredder in deck because I'm like, these are easy cuts. That's going to be great. These are not, these are not super scary threats though. So that's good. How, do you, how long do you think this Jace is going to survive? All right. Now well, that's unfortunate. Watch, it's going to be Necromancy, Makeshift Mannequin, Reanimate, and one other card. Probably. Probably. Oh my god. If I steal your Gonti, can I cast it? Probably not. No. That'd be real great though, right? Yeah. That'd be real great, right? Uh, no blocks. You can't get rid of Nick. Then what does head sit on? Wow. Don't kill my... Oh, green. The Lord of Luxury has spoken. <sighs> and he done speak good. Guess we'll go to five. Can't we flip Jason Time Walk too, though? Do we have the mana for that? Yeah, we do. No, we're dead. You gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna submit and go to the bathroom because I don't really want to wait till this game. Whatever, I'll just play it now. I don't care. Yeah, they played our time warp. That is what happened. That is correct. I don't understand, like, why these games aren't even close. Like, are we drafting that poorly? Let me know. Let me know what you think. I don't even know what's going on. What it is. Shut up. No. Shut up. Never. I want an island here just so I can cast Legacies of Lore. I want a million dollars. Cool, that's what I meant. I meant Gristlebrand. You want a million dollars? Mm-hmm. Oh, as long as you're not being greedy. No. Just a, just a small loan of a million dollars. A loan? You're going to pay it back? Yeah, eventually. When do you think? You know, a couple of years. A couple of years? Yeah. What do you think is going to happen in a couple of years that allows you to pay back a million dollars? I'll put it all into Bitcoin. How many years do you think that's going to take? I don't know. Two. Two years, you think? And... It, why do you think the person who's loaning you the money wouldn't just put it in Bitcoin themselves? Wouldn't uh, that... Because uh, I'm a trusted member of their society. No, you're not. Why not? I don't know why you're not. These are the choices you've made, buddy. I didn't make any choices. Oh, my God. You didn't make any choices. That's probably where how you got this way. Some type of way. Some double it. I see. 
I feel like we just languished this guy. Actually, we can probably do nothing. Oh, we're just going to languish because we can do nothing. If they No, we're going to languish. <laughs> what happens if we wait? He makes more dudes. Yeah, and then we can languish those, right? Yeah. But it lets us, if we draw something, it lets us do nothing next turn, which I don't like, so. We'll one for one it. Although you would get more value because you'd be discarding things. I wonder if our opponent... Oh, I guess our opponent can have a Jace because they're not playing blue. Our last opponent had Jace. So that's pretty good. I think, think until they go island, island. It feels like Jace was probably the best card they played against us, right? Jace was just the best. We did it. We did it, boys. All right. Two cards. You. And you. All right. Next time we get to go Time Warp, and then we get to go Silumgar and steal something. I'm okay. They only have three lands right now, which is pretty funny. I feel like that's how we win this game. I'm just kidding. I can't. I just can't even deal with this. I was literally going to time warp so it guarantees us we hit a land in the next two draws. I just can't. I'm just... I'm over it. I'm just so over it, dude. We did it anyway, but I'm so over it still. Give me the Banana King. Sing us a song, you're the Banana King. Sing us a song tonight. The Banana King can also sing. He's real talented. I don't know why you don't think he wouldn't be. Well, I mean, he's the king of bananas, so I figured he'd just be good at banana things. Hmm. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at that flavor, bro. Selimgar stole Tassiger. Oh, yeah. That's gas. That's gas. That's worth it. This whole draft is worth it now. You don't want to come at me, bro? Got a flavor win. Oh, that's a flavor win. Let's cast you. Uh, I'm going to do one of each of these, actually. I'm going to get back the Baleful Strix, because that's just like drawing a card. Target player. Draws a card. Kill this guy. Get back Strixums. Pay him, pay him McFiveums. Get him McMedums. This is the best. This is all ever. Wow, how many people have Deathrite Shaman? Do all my opponents have Deathrite Shaman? Yeah. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. I think they're dead, right? Four, five, six, seven? Kill them. Kill them. If they die, they die. You got greedy, Martin. You got greedy, Martin. Remember this? Say hello to my little friend. Actually, we should have played this and stolen this guy next turn. We didn't actually have the win. They could have just blocked here. If we played this instead, uh, next turn it gets one counter. We steal this guy and then we attack for the win. They actually had one extra turn, but whatever. What are you going to do? I think the deck is good like this. I'm going to use restroom though because I really got to go to the bathroom again. I'll be right back.
What did I miss? Did I miss something? I guess we're good. What's going on here? What is this? What is this clip? Hmm. Oh wow! Look at this. Look at that flavor, bro. Silumgar stole Tassiger. Oh yeah. That's gas. That's gas. That's worth it. This whole draft is worth it now. <laughs> you don't want to come at me, bro? Got a flavor win. Got a flavor win. That's what you said. Did you hear yourself say it? I said it. I, I know you did. I, I, I said it. Oh, God, I hate you so much. I said, I said, I said. I said, I said, I said it. Hunter, what are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. Get wrecked. All right, I'll give you some pets. I'll give you some pets. No, thank you. You don't have a choice. Don't I? Don't we all? <laughs> so say we all. What's that dude doing? I'm being a derp. Did they miss another land drop? Oh my god, really? I wonder if I should change the background of the stream to something other than Cryptic Command. Hey, they got that second land. You can change it to Mitch Command. Mitch Command. What do you mm -hmm. think that is? If you search enough, you'll find it. If you believe? Yeah. What if you don't believe? Then you won't find it. Well, that's awkward, isn't it? What are they I abrupt mean, to care? Legacy's appropriate. Allure? God, what a rude dude. You okay over there? I'm fine. I don't believe you. I think My name is Jeff. I think you're a hot god GD mess. Maybe. Maybe what? Maybe. Why are, you, why are you the way that you are? Can you stop with this, dude? You're going to take this guy now, aren't you? You've learned the power of the confluence. No. Again? Interesting. Let's attack. <laughs> Don't even laugh at him. Don't even encourage him. Nope. So what do we kill, draw, draw? That's pretty good. That's like drawing three cards. Yeah, obviously. Everybody knows you're going to play that guy. Is he going to do the time warp again? No, it's, it's right here. Get your oh. life together. I didn't see. I didn't see. You didn't see that it was in our hand, and then it wasn't in our hand, and he took it? Nope. What? How much are you paying attention? I'm blind. But now I see. Do you? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Right now you see. More or less. Oh, God. I can't. I just can't. Someone deliver me from this nightmare. <laughs> it's not delivery. It's DiGiorno. Wow. Okay, someone de on me from this nightmare then. <laughs> Ooh. Look at this guy. Look at that swat from Carnage. The art is your next flavor win. What? Swat from Carnage. Swat from Carnage? What? Oh, what's going on right now? Onslaught. <laughs> my, why does my chat need to have a cheese service alright we're going to play this do we get the Baleful Strix back or do we we kill this guy kill this guy draw a card I think
So can we go six mana Time Warp, seven mana Shieldred? Or Gristlebrand? Or not Gristlebrand, Runescar Demon? Five mana Explorer. <laughs> yeah, well, what are you going to do? I think it's actually Demon here. What are we getting here? Something to kill them with. One, two, three, four. Next time we can go careful consideration, discard, discard, and then like bring back an, a reanimator or a necromancy or something. Yeah, let's grab a necromancy. That hits their guys too. We can also just get a Gonti if we want. We can have a Gonti if we want to. Oh my god. Okay, Swap from Onslaught is a lot funnier now that I looked at it. Wow. That's our slap draft, bro. Deficient Mastermind, where are you from? That's a dude. Oh, the ancient tomb themselves for that guy. They can put us to ten. That's pretty scary. No, it's only minus seven. That's true. Oh, France. Okay, nice. It's probably like, is it like was it like twelve forty four midnight? Four oh forty four, I guess. I don't know. I don't know international times. What am I? Some kind of. Oh wow, they did. Oh, that's terrifying. Did they got that card that deals ten damage? I, Soren's Vengeance. This is, look, this is original Alexstrasza. OG Alexstrasza open here. Oh, just a Tassiger? Okay. Okay. Keep your thumb up. <laughs> I did. It's got to be Sholy. And then we get Grissy back next turn. Big Grizz. Get him. G -g 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 get him. Uh, Gristle Dad, I don't know if he's my real dad. The parent, the DNA work has not come back yet, so it's really hard to say. But, um, you know, we got our fingers crossed that it'll come back and, uh, old hook hands will be my dad. All right, go old to eight. Old hook hands. Uh, we'll get back Gristle Brand. Can we deal in one somehow? I don't think so. And I was thinking about that and I was like, you know what? Can we? I think the answer is no. Let's see if this gets us anything. I really want to dismiss, though, because I'm kind of scared of this guy coming back and dealing us another two and putting us to six and then just them killing us out of nowhere. Factor fiction. One, two, three, one, two. We play land this turn, right? We played swamp. Mm -hmm. Let's get fact. It, it does make me sad that we can't deal one, but it does shut off their Ancient Tomb. Actually, could we Gristle Brand and... Is there anything that deals us one, deals one to them? I don't think so. If we had a way to get Wretched Confluence back, we could just make them draw three. Can someone tell me if there's anything we can get with Gristle Brand? Any cards that we can hit 
it's scary because we die if we don't hit them. <laughs> They have one card, right? They can't just deal a six. We're just going to pass here. Best thing I'd have is Gary to deal us five. Oh, crying out loud. Oh, yeah, that's true. That would be five, though. Okay. Ugh, I wish I can get rid of this guy right now. All right. So they have Dude and Gary. Then they win. And we got him. All right, sweet. Let's look at our deck real quick. Did we have anything we could have hit with Gristlebrand? No. No, nothing really. Okay. Okay. All right, let's do it. Run it back. Going for the coveted 2-1 here, ladies and gentlemen. It's good enough for 100 points. You feeling like some food after this, bro? Oh, yeah. Okay. Pretty hungry. Same. All I had was some cereal earlier. It was like 1 o'clock. I didn't have anything. Yeah, no, it's because you woke up at 5 p.m. No, man, I woke up at 4.45, thank you. You're just wasting your life away, man. Why not? Because there's things to do. Like what? Why even be alive, then? Because sleeping feels good. I just like a late start to the day. But then mm. you got like an early, you like an early end of the day, too, because then you go to sleep, and you don't do anything. I didn't go to sleep till like 4 a.m. Really? Yeah, bro. If I went to bed at like 10 p.m., then that would probably be a problem, but... I mean, you're a problem. Wow. Bad company till the day I die. When you get food, get something with cheese on it. Maybe. I'm getting something with cheese in it. That counts, right? I think so. That cat's very loud. The cat is the loudest cat I've ever seen. Oh, God, the blue-black mirror match. Oh, I see. I will likely be eating something paneer from the Indian restaurant. So. Which is the cheese. Which is Indian cottage cheese. Oh, snake lady. I get my snake lady on. How about a bed? Get my snake on. You know how it goes. Wow. Let's go with the land, I guess. We still have to discard something because we literally drew infinite lands. Holy smokes. Bad Michael B. Till the day I die. Here comes the snake. Bad Michael B. Till the day I die. Alright, so we go... There's seven. We go to six. So dropping this. We go to ten by drawing a million. And then we drop down to nine. So we might as well just do it on their turn. I guess that's it, right? And then next thing we can time warp if we hit something good. Uh, the Kitty Cat is a boy, Chad, so you would be taking both of them, hymns, with you. Why does everybody think the cat is a girl? I don't understand. It's so weird. <laughs> Didn't realize that thing towards the top was a cheerleader board. I want that. Oh my god. I love it. All right, we're going to careful consideration here. You want to counter it? I dare you. I dare you. A cryptic command. Uh, bounce your land, counter you the spell. That'd be pretty good, right?
Oh, cool. Boop, and a boop, and a boop. Till the day Mike dies. I'll never die. Or never? I'll live forever. Really? Yeah. Tell me more. Not much to tell. Tell me more. No. Like this on a car? I do. Hmm. Well, I'm paying it off still, but, you know. How long have you been paying that off for, you think? A couple of years. How long have you been paying it off for so far? A couple of years. I think it's been longer than a couple of years. A couple of years, I think okay? it's been like 17 Maybe. years. Well, okay. No, no. It's been like three years. Four, five, six, who knows? Wow. <laughs> it all blends together when it hits that decade, Mark. I know it ends this year. That's all that matters. I think Mike pays about $16 a month for his car. Uh, he got the uh, the 14 year loan. I wish that'd be gas. I don't know what to do here. We can time warp, and they're probably going to counter it, right? To the day I die. I would easily pay double for my car if I could pay $14 a month for it. Why? Because $14 a month is nothing. Yeah, but then you own the car for infinite years and then like by the time you're halfway paid off you don't even want the car anymore i'll deal with that when it comes to that no you won't what you'll do is you'll just keep driving this is why <laughs> this is why you don't make any progress in your life you just sort of like float by and hope that your existence improves it's been working so far i don't think that's the word i'd use but okay okay <laughs> all i want to do is have a 14 dollar a month car payment and uh, sleep till 5 p.m. <laughs> what well, problem is? How about now? Can I do it now? Did they not attack? They played a swamp. Then it went to my turn. I have no idea what happened there. I am intrigued, though. Don't force spike me, bro. Don't any counter spell me, bro. I mean, I get another turn, so if it's... Okay. Hey, that's pretty good. What did we get here? It's just shield. This is a bad company. It's just shielded. I can't kill any of their guys, which is really annoying. And two of them have death touch. D-touch. It's just Silumgar here? Take the snake maker? Yeah. Seems alright. Let's go to our next turn. Oh, Confluence would have been good here. I, You're right. That was a good call, Harmon. That's my bad. Yeah, we could have Confluence, Confluence drew a card. Bad company till the day Mike dies. Which should be tomorrow, I think. I think tomorrow's the day he dies. Pretty much. What's the third one of confidence? Return to from the graveyard? So we wouldn't do that. We'd probably just go kill, kill. Alright, you're gonna... Oh! Interesting. Here comes Unbarrow Rights, Aleshnorn. And by Aleshnorn, I mean... Well, it actually could be Aleshnorn, because they just gotta... No, and Barrow Rights be white. So maybe it's not on Barrow Rights unless you Maybe we just have to... God, I hate making gifts piles. Good thing you don't have to. Then I hate, I hate picking the two that go in the graveyard. Hmm. I'm gonna have a bad time. I know. You're right. Sounds like some bad company to me. I don't even think they know what they're getting. Oh, show and tell. 
Recurring Nightmare, Shieldred, and Exhume. Okay. Okay. Um, well, this has to go in the graveyard. Just put Exhume and Nightmare in the graveyard. Then they just show until... Oh, we... Yeah, and then we put in a Grizzle Brand. And then they still get a shoulder. They're going to get a shoulder no matter what. So. Yeah, but then we sack their guy or the, the snake we make each turn. Like, yeah, I think that's, that's actually true. fine. Let's get rid of Recurring Nightmare. 100%. I'm worried that they're just going to cast Shieldred. If they exhume it, I wish we had another dude in our graveyard. Like, I wish we had a way to get Gristlebrand in the graveyard. Why do we still Strix? Because this is going to make us a snake token every turn. You can see an argument for Strix, though, because you can attack in the air, but... Maybe you can. Yeah, I got float. <sighs> Great. Oh my god, what? This is weird. Yo. Emrakul, huh? Hmm. That is a bigger thing. <sighs> Just hope they don't show Emrakul. Cool. So we're just losing to the better blue red the blue black decks, right? That's all that's happening right now. Pretty much. I really don't want you to cast my Emrakul. Or my bone my gristle brand. Can Necrotal kill an Emrakul? Yeah. Oh, then do that. Yeah, it's literally the only target. That's great. So long, graveyard. Bad company to the dead Mac dies. We're not dead yet. Crystal Brand's pretty friggin' bad if they have another swamp. Is it spent any mana they cast it? Oh, if they have any other land, I guess. Oh, that's brutal. Of course, they had Hostage Taker, Show and Tell, and the exact amount of mana they needed to cast it. That is Yarp. Un... Here's the uh, eighth mana. Yep, there you go. Slow roll the eighth mana. Sometimes you're just not sure if you want to play that eighth mana and cast your opponent's crystal brand. Yep, to the surprise of no one. Sometimes I just get real confused and I'm like, should I play my opponent's crystal brand for free? I don't know. I don't know. Well, we're not paying that. Bad back of me. No, no, no. Whatever. Dealing the stupid point. There's no way we're not dead, right? They just, uh... It's not looking good. 
like they just draw literally 14 cards 15 with the draw step and find one way to kill a dragon blood Solomgar. probably meanwhile necrotal and why would you do it at the end of the turn it's weird why don't you just do it on your turn it doesn't really matter it's just a weird thing to do. It's just a weird thing because it's like there's no relevant reason to do it at the end of the turn. It's not like you can do it once per turn, you know? What do you mean Jace reanimates Siligar? What are you saying? What are you saying right now, Chad? Is this real? Sure. Right, but we go to one if that happens. I mean, like, I just don't... I guess that's pretty okay if we do play Shieldred. Or if we if we go if they play shielder, I, we we have they have eighteen cards in their hand right now. Good amount. I have no idea what's happening right now. Wow. Is this like your only card in your graveyard is baleful strix? That's weird. I'm rolling my eyes so hard right now that they're actually rolling back in my head. We get to flip Jace. Get back Time Warp. That's actually pretty good. I'm just going to choose no. <laughs> Now I'm just keeping it. So what's our plan? Actually, can we Dragon Lord Silumgar steal Emrakul? That seems pretty good, right? Seems decent. This guy has Swamp Walk, though, so we have to actually get rid of this. So what's our plan? We can take one hit from it, but that's about it. From what? Oh, it's a 6-6. Six, six. I thought it was a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, I actually didn't think they were like like is there's no guarantee that they they played this and if they played anything else we'd have to kill our own Jace because it's on the May ability which is pretty brutal. Three, four. The problem is they still have recurring nightmare, right? So they can go recurring nightmare sack hostage taker to get something baleful strikes back, sack baleful strike is hot to get hostage taker back. Hostage take their own Emrakul or our Silumgar to get back their Emrakul. Like, Silumgar and Shieldred? What does that mean? Like, how does that work? Because then they just attack us with Emrakul, right? <laughs> oh, you say Necrotal on Emrakul. Actually,. Hmm. 
So actually we can go Necrotal, this guy. Shuffles their graveyard. Play Selimgar, Steel Shieldred. Is that a thing? No, we have to get rid of the Emrakul. That's actually better. That's pretty good. So we can go one, two, three. And we still got to keep a Jace. Call him our Steel Children? Yeah, I think that's got to be it. This game is pretty out of hand right now. They have seven cards in hand, we have zero, so... You can't Necrotal or Hostage Taker, it's a black creature. Oh, Necro? But it's right, it's in play. So what they can do is go... Recurring Nightmare, Sacrifice Una's Prowler. To get back nothing, actually. Interesting. I don't know if that works. Oh, they just discard something. Never mind. All their cards are really relevant right now, which is really frustrating. This is a heck of a stupid draft. Tomb and Woodfall Primus. Wow, that's pretty good. That's unbelievable, because now you get to just kill the Necromancy, which destroys the Selimgar, gets you back your Shieldred. Yeah, that's actually like perfect. <sighs> God, it never gets easier. Never easy. Never easy, guys. Here we go. Oh my god. And of course you have Woodfall Primus in your reanimator deck. Why wouldn't you? Sure. I mean, we can still do it again. We can still reanimate Dragonlord Silumgar here, but now we actually can't because this guy's a one and a go we go to six. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> Just want this guy in the graveyard a bit. Mm-hmm. Mm 
Yep, we're just going to next game. I don't care enough to... Let's say we, like, compulsive research or something. Draw three. Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right. Necrotal and Bone Shredder are actually super relevant because of their stupid, uh... Numerical, yeah. Yeah. Actually, maybe this guy's fine. He flip, he kill, he protect. What does Recurring Nightmare say? Sacrifice a creature, return it to its owner's hand, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. I mean, it's never going to go in the graveyard, is the problem. Yep, yep, yep. Whatever. I don't think we... I... Always a pleasure, Magic Online. Oh, listen to that pack open. This hand seems pretty good, actually. How many times have we actually played a Jace and got to, like, use it more than once, if at all? Why are you the way that you are, Magic Online? Well, this should help us get lands, at least. Dismember. <clears throat> Which member? Oh, you know. Dis. That's right. You're real quiet, man. Sometimes it just feels like you're sitting behind me watching, just judging. I'm always judging. Are you? Yes. Give me a reanimate. Oh, that was a good one. I'll take that. I'll take it. Because if they have Exhum, I actually want to have this guy. We did see Exhum. We did not see Reanimate. And I think we saw a lot of their cards. So, Come on, Bluzel. Bluzel. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody's got to have their own judging spot. The cat's got his. You ever seen that cat's judging spot? I think so. It's on top of all the cabinets in the kitchen. Hmm. Oh. How nice. Well, we'll probably just lose to that pretty good yeah yeah it is just get rid of languish here I'll be dismissing whatever they play just in case you guys didn't know Okay. Oh, 
Oh, it's not going to play anything. All right. Let's keep on passing. Dragon Lord does steal Planeswalkers. He's a good boy. He is a good boy. Also, our opponent is in our stream, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, I love it. Jesus. We're having a good time. I wonder why you didn't play anything last turn. So, in case you guys are wondering... MD Mormon indeed has our stream up, so that's cool. I mean, it's I don't I don't blame him. Sometimes magic's hard. Sometimes you don't know how to uh, win games of magic without cheating. So it is what it is. You got it. He's just Bone Shredder here. What's Strix really doing for you? I was going to play it this turn. Keep up Factor Fiction. I want to get down that Legacies Allure. Just wait till it has like a million counters. Take anything. Take anything? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's pretty ambitious though, right? I got a lot of ambition. That's cool. Bone Shredder, at this time of year, at this time of day, localized entirely on your side of the battlefield. Uh, that's correct. Oh, no longer in the chat, I see. Okay, that's good. He's like, oh, oops. I'll leave the chat. <laughs> <laughs> like... I'll log out of my chat. Come on, man. We can, but what's the point at this point? I mean, like, if you're if my opponent's going to cheat and watch the stream to see either my deck or the cards in my hand, if you're going to load up my stream while I'm playing, I, I don't care enough to win that game. I'll be honest with you. I'll just literally concede to you. I am totally fine with that. Don't even worry about it. Like, just let me know if you want to do that. If that's the kind of game you want to play, just tell me and I'll concede. I'll literally concede for you. The game is not worth that much to me. This is very interesting. I mean, we didn't see any counter spells in game one, but yeah, I assume they're going to hold up one.
<laughs> uh, we know he's a ghost because they were in the actual chat. So, that's cool. I mean, we also play Dragon Lord Silmar, they just kill her in response, and then we don't actually get the guy, so... Whatever. I mean, we're dead if they if it resolves, so... Cool. It's almost like you knew I had that. Yeah, it's, I'm just, it's so infuriating. I'm not even going to say anything. I don't even care. I mean, I clearly do, but, like, what is it going to do? Like, if you're going to actually cheat in a cube, like a cube draft, where, like, the only prizes on the line are play points. Okay, cool. I mean, I guess you got it. <laughs> Congratulations. Got to get those trophies. Like, I feel like it just makes you look like an idiot. <laughs> like, but, okay. Don't think we're beating that emblem. I don't think we're beating your face. Well, that's good. I like my face. Can we oblivion ring an emblem? <laughs> I wish. Do we play land? Yes? Okay. Uh, so, to kill, here's the thing. I always, whenever I start a match, I check to see if my opponent is in the chat. They were not. Which means they opened the chat. They opened the stream after our round had already started. So, it's very possible that, uh, I, they're not, they're not a fan. <laughs> they're not a fan that's just watching the stream. Highly unlikely. Really? No attack there, huh? Hmm. 
I guess we attack here. Wish I had this languish in hand still. I mean, you can play it. Right, but I want to ultimate Jace because I feel like that's one of the ways we win this game. It's actually pretty good. I guess we just take... Actually, let's take Time Warp here. Yeah, that pretty much kills them, right? Yep. Wow. Ultimate Liliana, scumbag the stream and still lose to a Gristlebrand and a Rune Scarred Demon? Seems good. <laughs> oh, boy. This guy seems good against their whole deck, right? Yeah, but it's really hard to cast. You're right. It is really hard to cast. What if we reanimate it, though? That's easier to cast, but... Who knows? Maybe it's good. I'm bringing it to the Royal Inn. I got the Kaiga bringing Hellkite. Maybe? Yeah, Obstructionist actually seems good. Alright, cool. Mm. I need to find something to just put in front. Here we go, we'll just use this. Actually, this will be fine if I just do this one of these jobbies. That's not how that works. We're gonna use that for now and then we're just gonna put something up on the actual overlay because, good lord, man. Like, you really seriously can't not cheat while we're in a cube draft, please. Uh, what do I do? Color source. Okay, sounds good. Lock, put you here, all the way over to here, which is really annoying. Sorry guys, move on a second. I'm sure you guys understand. And like that, all right, cool. Hooray! Um, I'll keep this hand. <laughs> Seems good. I like Una's Prowler giving us a discard outlet. That's pretty cool. I'm sure they're just going to discard something ridiculous. Then recurring nightmare it. Sure.
Monsonster, why did you choose a different Twitch name from your game name so that you can so you cheat on streams? Because <laughs> that's kind of funny. <laughs> Oh, tell Jason we said hi. That's what I live for. That's good. That's how I feel alive. Discard planes. Sure. Take one here. Piss off, ghost! That's a little Korg from Thor Ragnarok, in case you guys didn't know. Oh, that was a cat. You're a cat. Am I? I feel like I'm not. Here we go. so alive for the very first time yeah you can use this incident yeah let's do that He also only has three minutes left on his clock. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Yeah, it's actually fine. We'll just factor fiction. I'm going to factor fiction now in case we got to reanimate. We did not. Daddy Cube, thank you so much for the two-month sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Five cards, no lands. That is interesting. Yep, your move. <laughs> Josh, thank you so much. Four months. Really appreciate it, man. What are you doing with your life? That's what I want to know. Seems like an easy choice. Chad, I know you would, buddy. I know you would. No, no tax here? Weird. I feel like something you want to do. Reanimate? That'll do. I'll take that guy. So we can just <laughs> end step shielded and then uh... the gifts are ungiven. I feel like I just dismissed this. And they gave it to me. They know I have it. And we have Into the World to bounce. Wilmog. Cool 
one barbobbly boy has subscribed <laughs> oh my god dude thank you <laughs> whoever you are thank you you are awesome you are my favorite barbobbly boy sure that's actually pretty good Two thirty four. So I just assume you have a uh, remand in hand. Guess we'll take two. Seems good. Didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> Looks like the old Barbobbly boys are at it again. Get to keep our budget confidence and the other thing. Seems good. Oh, and you gotta get rid of that guy? That's a bummer. The old bummer drummer. The bum who drums. Chad, is this sufficient for you? So it just dies? That's all that happens? Yeah. Did they know that? <laughs> Wouldn't... That's... Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and it gets countered so you don't actually get to untap yeah seems good masterful play by the ghost whoops So here's the thing. Here's what I want to say right now. It is possible they turn. I don't. I can't actually. Exp, I can't actually explain them turning on the stream in the middle of um, me streaming, and then disappearing from the stream. Yeah, good games. Um, I'm gonna. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and say maybe they weren't ghosting. Maybe they weren't. But you weren't in the stream when it came on, when our match started, and then you. And then you were in the stream at a different point. So you went to my, my my Twitch page and you opened our match. I can't figure out why you would do that if you weren't looking. I mean, I guess so you could be curious if you were streaming or not, but just to know. Nah. Oh, well, 2-1 is fine with me. Our deck seemed good. Despite having to throw up a, a ghost shield. But, um, yeah, so what happened was, um, game two, our opponent was pretty, pretty obviously telegraphing our plays. Like it was pretty obvious. They, they played things when they knew we couldn't do anything in response. They kept up mana when they had a counter spell and they knew what we were, we were going to do on turn, on a turn. And then I look in the chat and they were, they were in the chat. They, I always check the, the chat at the beginning of the games. Uh, I play against someone so I can see if they're in there, uh, or if they show up in there. And I'll, I'll frequently scroll down to see if I can find their name. Um, didn't see their name. Eventually, I do see their name in there. And there's no reason you'd be there while I'm playing against you. It makes no sense. Either way, whatever. 
not going to call this person a cheater. Not going to call them a ghost at the current time. I, I, I may have mentioned it before. Right now, not going to call them anything. I'm just going to say, you weren't in the chat. Then you were in the chat while we were playing against each other. Seems interesting. Either way, draft seemed okay. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you guys next time. Hey.